Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. This video shows you how to download your photos from your phone or from your camera in the Photos app in Windows 11. Now, first of all, you need to ensure that your phone or camera is switched on, plugged into the computer, and in the case of a phone or a tablet, you need to ensure it's unlocked. Now, if you've got an Android phone or a tablet, sometimes you might have to put this into file transfer mode. So after you've plugged it into the computer, unlocked the phone, then just swipe down from the top of the screen and it might say something along the lines of Android system charging device via USB. If you see something like that, tap on it Okay, tap on it again, and you should then get USB preferences come up. And it will probably say something like no data transfer is, is selected. So if you see that, then just tap on use USB 4 and then select file transfer. So you might hear your computer make those sort of disconnect and connect noises. If you do, don't worry, that's quite normal. Just perhaps leave the computer for about 20 seconds just to make sure that it's made the connection. And then what you want to do is you want to click on the start button once to get the start menu up and just type on the keyboard photos. That's photos. OK, and then after a few seconds under best match or on the right hand side of the start menu, you should see the photo up. Click on it. Doesn't matter which one. So I'll just click on the one underneath best match. And the first time you open Photos, it might want you to sign into OneDrive if you haven't already. You can say no thanks or just click the cross in the top right hand corner of the, uh, the screen that appears to get rid of it. OK, so here it says add folders with photos, select import to include a folder of photos and videos so that you can search, edit and create videos with them. So let's just click on that. OK, so it's given us two options now. So it's saying, do we want to import from a folder? So this would be ideally if you've already got photos, say, on an external hard drive and you want them from a particular folder, then you can select that or from a connected device. So copy items from a phone, camera or another device, i.e. a tablet. So, OK, I'm going to select from a connected device as I've plugged my phone in. So uh, let's just do that. OK, so it says that it's looking for a device to import and it says in my case something went wrong. So just make sure that the camera on the phone is unlocked and switched on. OK, so I've made sure it's switched on. It's unlocked. OK, so I'm just going to click try again and let's see what happens. So here we go. So it's looking for new photos and videos on my phone. This bit might take a bit of time. It really depends on how quick your computer is and obviously how quick your phone or your tablet or your camera is and how many photos you've got on there. So uh, just be patient with it. OK, so here we go. Here's all the items that it's found on my mobile phone. So what it's going to do is it's going to put them in the pictures folder. Now we can change the destination if we want to and put them elsewhere. So if we wanted to put them in a folder in pictures called, I don't know, mobile phone photos, we can do that. We can just click pictures then click new folder and type mobile phone. OK, and then go add this folder to pictures. And there we go. And we can either manually select the pictures just here and the videos. The uh, the actual icons with the play buttons in there are videos and these are pictures. Now, sometimes you will get thumbnails here so you can actually see the pictures, other times not. So it's come up here under select custom six. So that means we've selected six of the photos or we can click on that drop down and we can say, right, all items we want to select or all items since last import so stuff that's already been imported to the computer we don't want to re-import again I don't know how well that works or we can say none and just select the ones that we want we can even do month by month so if you wanted the whole of November just click the box just to the left of November there and there you go that selects them all in November and we can go down 
and keep going down. Say if I wanted November 2016 as well, can select those there. So, uh, oh, there you go. There's some there with um, some thumbnails which we can select. We can select photos individually. So, say for instance, I like this photo here and I want this one, I can select that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select some of these photos down here which have thumbnails on. So I want all of them from September, say there, and I'm just going to click that one there. There you go. So I'm only going to import four and they're going to go into this folder here called mobile phone in pictures. And I'm, when I'm ready, I'm just going to click import four of 21 items just down the bottom there. That obviously number will differ depending on how many items you're importing and how many items it's found. And I'm going to leave this unchecked, this delete after import, because to be quite honest with you, I'd rather manually delete them from a phone or my camera just in case they haven't come across right or I've lost them. So I want to check first of all they're on the computer before I delete them from my phone or camera. So there you go, I'm just going to click on that import button there and there you go, it's now imported four, four items. It says there it's finished and there you go, it says four items have been successfully imported into photos and saved to this path here. So if I want to find them, let's just click on OK. And uh, I'm just going to have a look through those photos. Yep, all look good. And uh, if I want, I can close this down, click on any yellow folder, OK, and then click on pictures, the blue pictures just there. And there's a folder there called mobile phone. And if I double click on that, hopefully I should have, there you go, my four pictures in there. So there you go, that guide showed you how to import pictures from a phone, camera or tablet into Windows 11 using the built-in Photos app that comes with Windows 11. If you like this video, then click that like button. If you think your friends, your family or work colleagues would like this video, then share this on your social media timelines. And if you want to find out about all my latest videos as and when they come out, then hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech, that's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel, just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.